Right, I've got a new tool to show you today, and it's this one here. It's called a quick change tool post drill chuck mount, and it's very easy and quick to make. Now I use this tool for dead accurate drilling on the lathe without the use of the um, tailstock and it's great for batch work. So I use this tool in conjunction with these spindle backstops that I've made. Um, this one's for the Chinese mini lathe which is a 3MT taper and this one's for the Myford ML7 which is a 2MT taper and I have another video showing how to make those. Um, so the tool or the job goes into the um, chuck. This is in the spindle. The component goes up against the stop and you can actually put it in um, repeated every time to exactly the same position in the jaws. So if you have a batch of components or several components that you want exactly the same on the drilling depth, length or whatever, um, you use this setup uh, along with the um, saddle stop or a DTI clock and you can do repeated work easily. And produce a whole batch of components exactly the same. Now to make this tool for the quick change tool post all is you need is a piece of 12 millimeter square bar I cut mine to 90 millimeter in length and then in the dead center drill and tap for 3 8 UNF thread which is the thread size for these small chucks I bought some 3 8 UNF bolts, they're an inch long, and I simply hacksawed the head off of one of those and faced it off in the lathe, and that one just screws into the 12mm bar. I did put a nice chamfer on the back of that one there, and you screw that one in so it's just below the back face, and simply fill it with silver solder. Now if you haven't got silver solder, if you clean the threads up really nice, um, get it nice and clean with acetone, you can use Loctite 638 and that will secure that in there and it won't come out. And the only other thing you need to make is this piece here, um, a nice piece of turned bar. And then I've centered it and drilled it for 1 8 um, inch and then I've got a 1 8 pin and this is the tool that you need to have to actually centre this on the lathe. So now I'm on the Myford ML7 and I'll show you the basic setup. Um, before I put any tapers up in the bore of the spindle I always make sure it's thoroughly clean and I've made this um, pull through up, simple pull through. It's a quarter inch aluminium bar with a couple of ground grooves in the end there and the cloth is just held on with one of those plastic tie clips and that one simply is inserted into the back of the spindle and pull that one through a couple of times and that will get all the swarf out and make sure it's thoroughly clean. And to check that, I have this um, torch, flexible torch, which I can put up inside the chuck and just check that is thoroughly clean. And that's most important, otherwise you can actually damage the inside of the spindle or the taper. So next I take my 2MT um, backstop, make sure that's nice and clean. And I've already adjusted the um, front threaded part here to a length um, so that when it's in the um, spindle um, the required length is protruding from the front of the jaws. So that one goes up in the spindle like that and just get a piece of bar and tap it to seat it in place. And then when the 
component goes in. It will actually go up to that stop and that's how you can get it in the same position every time. So if you make one of those back stops just make sure that the um, threaded part that comes up into the jaws at the back there that the diameter of the front of that one is smaller than the diameter of the component that you're turning otherwise it'll grip onto the um, face of that backstop rather than actually gripping on the diameter of the um, component. So next I take my test piece with the 1 8 hole and that one goes into the jaws like that and tighten that one up the drill truck goes on there and then put the uh, 1 8 um, silver steel bar into the chuck and then you can actually center it up Once you get the centre height set, just lock that one up. And then the cross slide, lock that one if you have a locking screw on the side of that one. So once the centre height is set, um, you don't have to touch that one again unless you use it on a different machine or whatever. Um, but you use the test piece each time um, when you do the setup to check the cross slide center and like I say when you um, set it each time um, if you've got the facility on the cross slide um, to lock it up and that will keep it all dead center ready for drilling so next the test piece goes in and I've already faced this to length both ends and if you're doing um, a component um, you'd do that first and that goes up against the stop and then change the test piece for the center drill and it's all ready to go and because it's only a center I'm not using the um, saddle stop And that's the centering done both ends. So now for the drilling. 
And just for an example, um, just say that I want to drill um, a hole, both ends, say 12 millimeter deep. I can bring the end of the drill up to the front face of the um, component and then I can use a slip between the saddle stop and the um, saddle lock the saddle stop in position like that and then I know when I go forward to the saddle stop it will be exactly 12 millimeter deep on the component Turn the job around. And that's it, the job done. So that's it, I have a component which is um, the right length and a hole exactly 12 millimeter deep in both ends. And if you had a whole load of these, you could just put them in against the stop, use this uh, drilling method and get them all exactly the same. And that's the basics of batch work on the lathe. Plus if you've got um, a lathe with a multi-position um, saddle stop, one that you can turn, you've got various uh, lengths set on there, um, you can have um, tools preset in other chucks and just change the chuck um, and use in conjunction with the particular saddle stop. And if you're using the multiple stop method and the chuck gets slightly stuck on there after drilling, you simply get one of these um, strap wrenches and that will undo it easily. So it's dead accurate, very fast to use and a great tool to have. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.